You're watching Telecom TV from the IoT Solutions World Congress event in Barcelona. And I'm joined now by John Romero from Philips and Oysen Lenny from Open Market. John, Oysen, thank you both for joining us on Telecom TV. John, if I could start with you, what is Philips doing in the healthcare sector with MRI technology? MRI is composed of a large magnetic field and we use that magnetic field to image a patient. And one of the really big advantages of an MRI opposed to such as a CT or an X-ray is that MRs don't use any type of ionizing radiation. So the patient is not exposed to any type of radiation and we get very crystal clear imaging. And Oysen, what is Open Market and what is it that you specialize in? We are a pure play SMS provider. We are what's known in the business as an aggregator. So we sit in between the telcos globally as a trusted intermediary to carry messages back and forth between people's handsets and the global mobile phone operators. So the IoT is a very interesting space for us because SMS is a uh, hugely reliable, globally ubiquitous uh, messaging platform. Uh, so it's very exciting to work with people like Philips on projects such as this and to leverage the global coverage of SMS by working with all of the telcos globally in order to deliver next generation IoT. So what the device does for us, it allows us to, to monitor very, very closely any types of changes within those environments. But just to make it very simple, let's say a room temperature. So if the room temperature is always 20 degrees C, if it were to change, we'd want to know it. So what the BIOX will do is it will SMS via open market to our customers and to the support people from Philips and let them know that there's been a change in the environment that requires attention. And why SMS? Because there's a huge number of different types of messaging technologies you can use for IoT type applications. It's a global two-way communication channel. Uh, email has a coverage of around two billion, SMS is six billion, so this simply is no better, more reliable, more ubiquitous way to send messages that are important on a global basis. So I think what you're looking at, very sophisticated, high-end healthcare equipment, uh, such as the Philips MRI machines. If you need to get a message from one of those machines to an engineer, you need to make sure the message gets there. Uh, there's simply no other channel that has the same response rate, the 98% open rate of SMS. So what progress have you made with the eAlert service, and what results have you got so far? We've been running the project right now for myself a little over a year in the U.S. market and it's been very, very successful because this has come across more as a partnership between Philips and our customers. It's not just a matter of alerting Philips when there's a problem, but we also alert the customers so they can take proper response if they have to schedule patients, if they have to get in touch, uh, in touch with their facilities people to be able to take care of these issues in their infrastructure. So it's very important to have that collaboration between us and our customers. Now the project is rolling out to the rest of the world. So now we now have developments going into India and Germany and shortly the rest of the world. And it was actually a great testimonial that we shared earlier at uh, IoT Solutions World Congress, which is one of Philips' uh, healthcare customers, and they have the e-alert system installed. The, the managing director of this uh, hospital, or chain of hospitals said, the great thing about e-alert and working with Philips, we really feel they're partners, and they actually arrive and fix things before we even know they are issues. Uh, so I just think you, you couldn't possibly ask for more out of a, a technical partner, a technical provider, than kind of preemptive, proactive uh, fault resolution and maintenance. Um, you know, it's it's only available now with this new technology developed by John and his team at Philips and leveraging the global connectivity of SMS that we can have these machines letting the engineers know they need to come and pay attention to something before it becomes a serious issue. Is healthcare an early adopter vertical market for IoT? And do you think it represents a significant opportunity? Well, um, yes and no. The thing about healthcare, and we were actually talking about this earlier, is that it's highly regulated. Uh, it takes a long time to get any new technology you know, pushed through the gates of regulation. For good reason, because the technology is life-saving. It's very important, it's not compromised. By nature of its highly regulated uh, status, healthcare is not so much an early adopter, but they are making huge inroads in terms of innovating and providing solutions. So healthcare is very significant, uh, but it's not perhaps the earliest of adopters. And John, are you excited about what IoT can provide for your part of the business? Well, I would say, who wouldn't be? I mean, it's very, 
I mean, the way I, I, we look at it now with, within Philips, this is a complete game changer in how we can do things. Now we can react on things as they happen instead of waiting to find out after the fact. So it's, it's, it's a complete game changer, it really is. Gentlemen, thank you both for joining us on Telecom TV.